last time, I talked about hash tables. And I talked about different ways that we avoid collisions. And one of the ways that we avoid collisions is using chaining. And so the idea with chaining is that we have an array. And in each position in the array, we have a linked list. And so when we want to add something to our data structure, we add it to the linked list. Okay. As we start adding stuff, our data structure starts filling up. And we have our concept of lambda, which is our load factor, which is the number of entries divided by the number of linked lists. Essentially, the number of elements in the array, the size of the table. Okay. And if we're using open addressing, if we're using linear probing, quadratic probing, or if we're using double hashing to find places, as we add elements to the array and add elements to the array, the array starts filling up. And with those methods, once lambda approaches 1, our data structure is full, we have to consider resizing it. Okay. With chaining, our data structure can, get to, can have more elements in it than the number of elements in the array and the size of the array. Because as we start adding things, at some point we're going to add things to our linked list. So now I've got lambda equal to 1, but I've got some empty lists, but I've got some lists with multiple things in them. And so, in fact, with chaining, we can allow lambda to become larger than 1 at the cost that we have some of our linked lists with multiple elements in them. We don't want to allow lambda to become too large because we're going to end up looking through many elements in our linked list to find something. We want to keep lambda small so that we keep our linked lists short. If we have a standard array, a traditional array like this one, and it becomes full, what do we do to it? Blow it away. No. What do we do? We make a new array twice the size. Here's an array about twice the size. And we copy everything over, right? So this element in position 0 but goes into position 0. Element in position 1 goes into position 1. Element in position 2 goes into position 2 and so on, right? And so now we've copied everything from our old array to our new array. Yeah? So with chaining, we have to do something similar. So in our chained hash, once our hash becomes full, we need to resize it. We need to make a new hash. So here's our original array of linked lists. And as I'm adding things, my lists are getting longer, and I've got more things in there. Okay. So I've decided that this array this lambda, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six buckets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things in there. Okay. So now I've decided that having nine things in array with six buckets, my lambda is too high. I want to resize my array. So I'm going to make an array that's twice the size. So can I just copy the pointer? that points to the, this linked list in position 0 to the new location. A. B. C. I. Can I just copy my linked lists across so that I've got them in their relative positions as they were before? Remember how we add something to a hash. If we're going to add an object to the hash, first of all, we call the hash code method. We call it 
call the hash code method. Secondly, we make that number positive. And then third, we mod it on the table size. That gives us an index, a hash value, I abbreviated mine to HV. It gives us a hash value. We take that hash value to our table. We say, OK, hash value after we've modded it on the table size is 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to add my new object to position 4, the linked list at position 4. So what happens if I copy everything, just copying the linked list? If I want to find my object, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get its hash code, I'm going to make it positive, and I'm going to mod it on the table size. So if I just copy this linked list so that it's over here, at position 4 in my new linked list, then when I come back to look for my object, this time I'm going to call it index, is x.hashcode. Now I take index and I make it positive. And now I take index and I mod it on the size of the new table. I'm not going to get the same position that I got when I modded on the original table size, right? Because my table's bigger. So instead of saying you'll find x at position 4, it may say you'll find x at position 8. So that's not going to work. It's not going to work. I can't just go through my list and copy the linked list at position 0 to position 0, the linked list at position 1 to position 1, the linked list at position 2 to position 2, and so on. Because to find an object, to remove an object, the way that I do it is I get its hash code, I make it positive, and I mod it on the table size. And the table size is different once I've resized my array. So the only way that I can do this is I initiate my new table full of empty linked lists I initiate my new table full of empty linked lists and then I go to the first element in my linked list and I say object A what is a dot hash code What is that made positive? And what is that modded on the new table size? And then it says put object A here. Now I do the same for object B. Now I do the same for object C. Now I do the same for object D. Now I do the same for object E, and F, and G, and H. Okay. So the only way that I can resize my table is create a new array of linked lists, take every element, get its hash code, make it positive, mod it on the table size, and insert that element into the linked list at that position. Because that's the only way I can get my elements back, is based on their hash code. All right.